Before you do any of this, make sure you have everything that you need downloaded, including your drivers, but not installed, only downloaded. Your screen is going to go black, and then your screen is going to look uh, like 720p is going to look out of, out of place. Just don't worry. Follow the steps I'm going to show you. You'll be good, and do this at your own risk. All right, so my problem was the fan option thing would not work. I would set it to, uh, a, let's say, 100%, and I would click Apply, and then we'll go straight back to what it was. And I found a way to fix this. The way you fix it is that you have to download this program to delete all of your drivers so you can have a clean install of your new drivers. It, depending on what card you have, you're going to have to go to their website to download your drivers. I got an NVIDIA card, so all I have to do is download GeForce Experience to download the latest drivers. So I'm going to put this link in the description below so you can read through it so you can understand the risks of doing this like for example it's recommended for you to have your, the latest bios uh put your computer in safe mode and stuff like that obviously you don't have to do this steps it's just for safety reasons you can mess up your computer doing this so be careful and and it's not my fault if you do something wrong so don't blame it on me anyways you read this article and then you download this program which is here i would put this link in the description as well it works for both cards um it works for both cards nvidia and amd so don't worry about that so go ahead and uh, click your server right here netherlands germany west coast east coast and once it's downloaded you would have you would have to extract it you extract it once you extract it uh i don't know why but it's in 7-zip but either it just extract it from 7-zip and once you extract that you would get this folder and in this folder all you have to do is click on display driver on installer and you click yes on whatever it prompts you it would ask you to uh close out afterburner and that just reminded me you have to uninstall your afterburner okay so to uninstall it you have to go to control panel and go to uninstall program go to your msi afterburner which is right here right click and uninstall and follow the uninstall steps there and then once that's uninstalled you click here and go to GPU, not your audio, matures GPU. I already detected my uh, GPU, so I had no problem with that. And then click on clean and restart, okay? This is gonna delete your video driver, so you, you can get a black screen, it will come back, don't worry. And once it restarts, once it restarts, on, on NVIDIA graphics card, all you have to do is open up uh, Google and type in in GeForce or Nvidia and get the GeForce app and download it because it would be deleted so once you download it just go straight into your app go back to drivers you, you would, you're gonna have to log in so log in and then download the latest driver it's gonna be a clean install so once you do that you go to the MSI Afterburner website and you re-download MSI Afterburner. I would put this link in the description as well. And once all of that is done, you would have a clean install of your drivers, a clean install of the MSI Afterburner, and there shouldn't be any more issues. If you do run into any more issues, let me know down in the comments and see if we can solve that. Thank you, and I'll see you guys later.